Hi, this is Jamal and today I'm going to show you how Pixis hair colors physical mode works in Maya and XGen. I think you get the best looking result if you don't use the Pixar Martian hair node. Instead I recommend to use the Lama hair Chiang node. But if you want to use the Pixar Martian hair node you can do it in that way. But if you also want to use a Lama hair Chiang node you first need to create a Lama surface node, connect its material front input to the output put from the Lama hair Chiang node. Make sure remap TT is disabled because the Pixar hair color node already remaps the color. Connect it with the Pixar hair color node and just the result TT needs to be connected with color TT. Melanin is a natural pigment. If the hair has no melanin the hair is white and the more melanin the darker the hair gets. A value between around about 0.15 and 0.25 is blunt. From there up to 0.65 is brown hair and then it's getting black. Redness adds red pigments to the hair. This is for example important if you want to shade red hair. I also very really like it to add redness to brown hair and a little bit redness to blonde hair. Melanin randomize only works if you write id underscore xp down in the hair id primval tab. If you're using something else than XGen then you can find those primvars here. This melanin randomized effect adds some randomized gray hairs. A higher value makes the hair look older. Darker roots add additional melanin to the start position of the hair. You are able to change the strength of the darkness with darken slope and with darken end position you can choose where this darkness ends. With tray color you can add additional color which is placed randomly across the hair. With a stray density slider you can balance the value of hair color and stray color. Stray melanin works the same as the melanin slider from hair color and stray random melanin randomizes the melanin amount so it looks far more natural. Dye color adds additional color information above the existing hair color. A higher melanin level is not that easy to colorize with dye color, but in contrast white hair is very easy to colorize with dye color. Dye random U randomizes the color of these dyed color information so it looks more natural. Dye random saturation makes some hairs look less colorful than others. A low random pivot value increases the number of random fur and a value of 1 nearly makes them disappear. You might think that the random seed value affects how strong the seed of the variation is, but it's only a way to place the variations on another place. Um, this is especially important if you're using many characters with the same fur shader and you don't want them to look exactly the same. Yes, and that was everything I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you the next time.